Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my shin. Inside my car. <laughs> Why am I inside the car, not under the bonnet? Well, I'm going to be getting there in a minute. But not for what I actually wanted to do. COVID-19 coronavirus has really screwed up the whole country. However, I think some companies are exploiting this ever so much. And I mean, Euro parts here in England. Um, advertise, you know, it's always an inflated price and then you get a discount and super discount and super mega discount, etc. So I needed, if you remember, I needed spark plugs, I needed an air filter, oil filter, and the rear wheel bearing. Now they did come up with a really, really good price. I think it worked out for the whole lot. I was really happy after the discount. Um, it says free delivery, don't come out, you know, and all this lot, self-isolating, um, click buy. You click buy and you get an email saying, yay. And you think, well, okay. I went for the other email. I got it on Sunday last. And then in the email at the bottom, it says due to COVID-19, it will take up to 10 days delivery. 10 working days delivery. Now, not including the bank holiday weekend, we just had such four days and four days this week. I'm now looking at waiting nearly three weeks. That's shit. No other word for it. If they had to put Euro parts, please understand it will never get to your house until three weeks. I wouldn't have bought it from then. I would have gone to the other places um, and got it from them. Um, and I'd have been happy, you know. I'm a key worker, so I could have picked them up as well. So now I'm stuck that I can't get the parts I want. Now, the oil change, I'm going to do that. And the next video coming after this, I'll be definitely doing the service that we're all bearing and bits and bobs. Because a lot of you have said, yes, Mark, show me around your nice A1, uh, A1 A4 Audi. Um, and really like to look at it. Nice S-line, leather interior, lovely motor. So anyway, what is this video about today? Well, have any of you ever used one of these? A scanner these are OBD2 scanners on board computer thingy diagnostics um, <laughs> again I had the engine management light come up on my car and you don't know what it is obviously so I looked on eBay again and I thought nearest first Dunstable near enough to me but it's a UK seller UK stockist I bought it on Sunday um, and I expected to get an email Monday, Tuesday. It said it'd be here, guaranteed, by the Wednesday. You know, a couple of days delivery, maximum. I got an email about 25 past three, bank holiday Monday morning, saying, um, we're out of stock of what you've got, and what exactly did you want? I thought, so I answered back, and I thought, wait a minute, 25 past three on a bank holiday. China's six hours ahead, that had been half past nine. You can see where this is going, can't you? <laughs> So I emailed back and said, I want what I bought, 85 quid, thank you. One of these, but um, it would also be a set of service light. Once you really good value. Came back, yeah, that's not in stock. Uh, give me £30 or £40 more for a better one. I was like, look, first I'm a bit worried you're six hours behind, in front of me. So I think you're China. Um, I need this this week. Please let me know if that's the case. And do you know, I don't want to pay £38, £30, £40 extra thanks. And he came back with nothing <laughs> so i contacted ebay i said look they're out of stock they're selling stuff that haven't got in stock they're trying to get more money out of me and i think it's china you know normally you can see in at the bottom it's got like yin yong province or something silly so they came back and said you're totally right we'll get your money back here friday i thought i'm not because guys a new paypal account i don't want to mess around anyway long story short i've got the money straight back after contacting ebay says so well worth contacting ebay my top tip come back to this locally a tenner like 40 pound 30 odd quid on um on ebay uh in trying to get them a lot cheaper but you're never going to get it now so i was really happy for 10 quid i plugged it in because my engine management light came on the other day now it went into um limp mode literally the car was juddering engine management light came on there's another little eps or something like that light came on so i stopped the car i turned the car off I left it for five minutes, turned it back on again, and I managed to get home. I kept the revs up slightly. I plugged this little onboard computer in. Bloody amazing. It really worked well. I don't know if any of you used them before. You just plug it. You ought to find it in the car, normally on the uh, right-hand side. You plug this in. Uh, it says reading with the car. Um, you press a couple of buttons, and up it came. And I was really, really impressed. It said I was misfiring on one and four. 
So that means it's going to be what's inside this little box, which I'd like to say, here's one I made earlier, ignition coils. Now it said one and four misfiring or multiple misfires it said. So one and four. Now, so I wasn't gonna Euro parts because they came up and they weren't coming up as cheap as GSF. German, French, and Swedish, GFS. Yeah. Um, they came up, as long as I'm a key worker, I can collect them and I've just collected them. What a bargain. What a real bargain. It made sense to be getting all four, if I'm honest with you, and that's what I've done. I collected all four, 82 pound, I think it was. That's amazing. I shudder to think what Audi would charge. Um, and original prices, now I say they're always overinflated. They were saying 45 pound each for these uh, generic ones, and I think pop one's about 50 or pound each. Um, brilliant. I'm gonna change all of these now. Simple under the bonnet, and I'll quickly show you. It is just so simple, everything is under these bonnets. And here we are under the bonnet of this lovely little 1.8 160 brake TFSI engine. Now, this is so simple. As I said to the BMW, this bit here, and all you do is take off the old oil cap and you just pull. Look at that. So, so simple. Put this back in. And then all you need is a 10mm. And this goes here, undo. <laughs> that is as simple as that. Let me show you. Oil, air filter, undo them, undo that. That'll be out there. Plugs are under here, but here they are, simple as that. Under that one little bolt there, these wiggle down a little bit. You just gotta pop these down. And they just literally pull out as simple as that. And then all you do, get a little bit of a grip under there. And there we go. No special tools needed. Nice new ones. Now, I would obviously like to be able to change my plugs and take the oil out again and filter and everything else. But that's not going to happen. But these are just simply plug and play. Look at that. And this one comes out. Now, these say they're all right. So let's put these two here. It said one and four. Now, I didn't actually know what one and four is. Because is that one or is this one? Is one closer to the front of the engine? I was glad it said one and four. However, I'm actually more glad I'm just replacing them all. And uh, there we go. These are knackered. Nicely shiny ones go in here. And then we're going to see how this engine runs. But look at that, just nice and slot. You hear this little little click noise. I'm going to get on with that. We're going to get back in the car and see. And then let's put the port in. If it doesn't work, then there's something else which I'm really didn't worry about. Electrics. Can't be the simple as plugs. And if it was, I'd just be the damn things back. But it's going to be these. I've had it many times before. Right, let's get back in the car. And that's how easy that was. Moment of truth. Key in, clutch in, ignition on, radio off. Now, the one I wanted to buy would have reset the service light, but this one doesn't. Does the old one though? What's it running like? Do you know, it's still not what I expected. And these plugs as well, then. While that's uh, ticking over a bit funny, I want to put that diagnosis bit kit back in there again, actually. Let's leave it run for a minute and then pop the diagnosis kit. Let's have a quick look around the car. A nice Audi A4 estate. Now, some of you might notice the arches. I've got some bits coming there. Back bumper needs doing. I've got something to do that as well. They are pretty terrible, aren't they? I've got these plastic bits coming from Germany. I could have cleaned them up and sprayed them, and being the lip, it might have done very, very nicely, but I actually didn't want to do it. I had to replace these as well. But uh, yeah, that was a job getting this off and everything else.
Well, before it was about 500, 600 revs and I could feel the whole engine juddering. It's not doing it now, and that's a lot better. So I'm gonna plug the little kit back in again, see what it says, and if it's saying it's all good, let's turn the fan off. If it's saying it's all good, I'll just wait for another little service kit before I start driving it properly. And that bloody wheel bearing at the back there should be a reasonable job. Right, let's put this bit back in here. You're not supposed to have the engine on for this one, just plug it in, just pops down there. Let's have a quick look what it says. Clever, isn't it? Just really simple. Let's just press OK, press Enter. Waiting for the vehicle to respond. Turn ignition on. Please try again. Rude. So I found this little bit now that said misfire cylinder and now it says pass. So back, it was cylinder two that passed. Cylinder three passed and cylinder four passed. So, we are all done now. Diagnostics. And that was easy as that. I was misfiring on, on all of them really, so it's well worth getting them all done now. And now it's all happy. So I'm happy with that. No further, erase all codes, start again. There we go, that that easy. That that easy? That that easy. Just wanted to share that with you. We are going to be checking out on my next video, me doing the full service on this one and the wheel bearing. Um, stay safe on the roads, whether you're driving, stay at home, riding the bike, whatever you're doing, just stay safe. Bye bye.